Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf. In this quiz or test we will be discussing only ports, as ports and protocols are the crucial part which you need to know for your CompTIA Plus Core 1 test. If you will know all ports which you will see in this video, this means that you are ready to or you will be prepared for your CompTIA Plus test, as I have gathered all of them in this one test. And also if you are interested in my other tests on all different other subjects which I am creating right now, I have previously created already on hardware, which is a quiz test which is focused only on hardware and hardware troubleshooting, which is also a huge topic in CompTIA Plus Core 1 test, then watch my all quiz quizzes or tests, I will leave a link to a playlist in description and in first pin and comment of this video. So no further ado, let's get into it. So question number one, a security administrator needs to ensure secure a file transfer to an external server. Which protocol and port should be used? TCP443, which is the HTTPS, UDP69, which is TFTP, TCP3389, which is RDP, TCP22, which is SFTP, or TCP21, which is FTP. I will not be translating these shortcuts as you should know them also for your CompTIA Plus Core 1 test guys. Also make sure that you know what are the translations for these shortcuts and where exactly and in which type of scenarios they are used. And here the correct answer is SFTP. TCP22 is used by SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol, which encrypts file transfers using SSH or Secure Shell. This ensures secure transmission of sensitive data. TCP21 is for basic FTP, which is not secure, and TCP443 is for secure web traffic, which is HTTPS or Hypertext Transfer Protocol Safe, which is Safe Hyper Transfer Protocol, not file transfer. And UDP69 is used for TFTP, which is a basic file transfer protocol but is not secure. And TCP3389 is for RDP or Remote Desktop Protocol which is used for Remote Desktop Access. An organization needs to synchronize the time on all network devices with a central time server. Which protocol and port should be allowed? TCP443, UDP. 5.3, TCP 21, UDP 123 and TCP 80. And here the correct answer is UDP 123. As UDP 123 is used by NTP. NTP stands for Network Time Protocol to synchronize time across network devices, ensuring consistent timestamps across systems. And TCP80 is used for web traffic, which is HTTP, not time synchronization, and TCP21 is for FTP file transfers. TCP443 is used for secure web traffic HTTPS and UDP53 is used for DNS queries. A technician is configuring a printer for remote monitoring via SNMP, which port must be allowed on the network. TCP80, UDP123, TCP110, TCP25 or UDP161. And the correct answer here is UDP-161, as UDP-161 or 161 port is used by SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, which allows network devices, link printers, switches and routers to be monitored remotely. TCP-80 is for web traffic, HTTP, UDP-123 is for NTP, used for time synchronization and TCP 110 is for POP3 or post office protocol for emails used to retrieve email and port TCP 25 is used for sending email via SMTP protocol. A system administrator needs to allow secure remote management of a router. Which port should be enabled for SSH? A for secure shell. So TCP 443 TCP80, TCP21, TCP22 or TCP23? And here the correct answer is TCP22. As TCP22 is used by Secure Shell or SSH, 
providing a secured encrypted channel for remote management of devices like routers and switches. TCP23 is used by Telnet, which is not secure, and TCP21 is for FTP file transfers, and TCP443 is for HTTPS used for secure web traffic, and TCP80 is for regular non-secure web traffic HTTP. Which port should be open to allow a secure remote desktop connection to Windows Server? TCP80, TCP22, UDP161, TCP23 or TCP3389. So, here the correct answer is TCP3389, as TCP3389 is used by RDP, which is Remote Desktop Protocol, which allows users to connect remotely to Windows desktops and servers. TCP22 is for SSH or Secure Shell, mainly used for remote access to Linux Unix systems, and TCP80 is used for web traffic, and TCP23 is used for Telnet, which is not secure. And UDP161 is used for SNMP, not remote desktop connections. Question number 6. A network engineer needs to allow secure email retrieval using IMAP with encryption. Which port should be allowed? TCP110, TCP25, UDP53, TCP993, or port TCP 143. And correct answer here is TCP 993. As TCP 993 is used for IMAP with SSL TLS encryption. IMAPs providing secure email retrieval over encrypted channels. And TCP 110 is for POP3, another protocol for retrieving email but without encryption. And TCP 25 is for SMTP, which is used for sending email. And TCP 143 is for standard IMAP without encryption. And UDP 53 is for DNS Queries. Next question is an email client is unable to download messages from POP3 server. Which port should be checked? TCP25, TCP993, TCP110 and UDP53 or TCP21? And correct answer here is TCP110. As TCP 110 is the standard port for POP3 or Post Office protocol which is used to retrieve emails from email server. And TCP 25 is used for sending emails via SMTP not receiving. TCP 993 is for IMAPs, a different protocol for retrieving emails with encryption. And TCP 21 is for FTP or file transfer protocol not email. And UDP 53 is for or DNS. A firewall needs to be configured to allow secure web traffic to an e-commerce website. Which port should be enabled? TCP443, UDP123, TCP21, TCP80 or TCP3389? And correct answer here is TCP443. As TCP443 is used for HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, Secure, which encrypts web traffic for secure browsing, commonly used by e-commerce sites or pretty much any websites which we are seeing out there currently are using this protocol if they have in URL HTTPS. And TCP80 is for regular, non-secure web traffic, HTTP, TCP21 is for FTP file transfers, TCP3389 is for RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, and UDP123 is for NTP, used for time synchronization. As you have probably noticed guys, I have also continuously added these explanations also for incorrect answers. So it helps you to remember all other different protocols also while watching this video. Next question, a technician is configuring a firewall to allow TFTP transfers. Which port should be opened? TCP25, TCP21, UDP69, UDP123 or TCP80? 
and here correct answer is UDP 69 as UDP 69 is used by TFTP or Tribal File Transfer Protocol a simple protocol for transferring files often used in network environments for tasks like loading configuration files a TCP 21 is for FTP a more complex file transfer protocol TCP 80 is for HTTP web traffic and TCP 25 is used for SMTP sending email or simple mail transfer protocol and UDP 123 is for NTP used for time synchronization. A technician needs to configure a server to send out emails securely using SMTP with encryption. So, needs to send emails with SMTP encryption. Which port should be enabled to allow sending out emails with SMTP encryption? TCP 25, TCP 110, TCP 465, UDP 53 or TCP 993. The correct answer here is TCP 465. As TCP 465 port is used by SMTP's simple mail transfer protocol secured which encrypts emails sent from a mail server using SSL TLS ensuring secure communication. TCP 25 is standard port for SMTP without encryption. So here keep in mind that TCP 25 is a standard port of SMTP without encryption which is not encrypted where TCP 465 is used by SMTPS simple mail transfer protocol secure which encrypts email sent from a mail server using SSL or TLS ensuring secure communication and TCP 110 is used for POP3 to retrieve emails, not send them. And TCP 993 is for IMAPs, which is used for encrypted email retrieval, not sending. And UDP is for DNS queries. An administrator needs to allow DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol traffic on a network. Which protocol or port should be permitted? UDP 53, TCP 80, TCP 25, UDP 161 or UDP 67. The correct answer here is UDP 67. As UDP 67 port is used by DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol for server to client communication. DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol dynamically assigns IP addresses to devices on the network. The server listens on port 67 and the client uses port 68. The use of UDP or user datagram protocol is appropriate since it doesn't require connection, making it faster for the quick transactions DHCP needs. TCP-80 is used for HTTP, the standard protocol for web traffic and is unrelated to IP address assignment. And UDP-53 is used for DNS, domain name system, which resolves domain names to IP addresses and vice versa, not for assigning IP addresses. TCP 25 is used for SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol for sending emails, not managing network addresses. And UDP 161 is used by SNMP, simple network management protocol for network management and monitoring. Next question, a network manager needs to manage routers securely from a central location. Which protocol should be enabled? FTP, SSH, SNMP, Telnet or DHCP? Correct answer is Secure Shell or SSH. As SSH or Secure Shell uses TCP port 22 and is the protocol of choice for securely managing network devices such as routers from a remote location. SSH provides encrypted communication ensuring the integrity and confidentiality of data transmitted between the administrator and the device. It prevents eavesdropping and data tampering during remote management sessions. A next port for Telnet TCP 23, which is next to secure. Here we have Telnet, which is next one, which is port 23, which is unsecure. 
As you can see here guys, Telnet TCP23 also allows remote access but is insecure because it transmits data including passwords in plain text, so without encryption. And FTP TCP21 is for transferring files but is not used for managing devices. And DHCP is for assigning IP addresses to devices, not for managing them. And SNMP UDP 161 is used for monitoring and managing devices but does not offer secure remote administration. Question 13. A user is unable to receive email but can send messages. Which port should be checked for incoming mail traffic if the user is using POP? Three. So here the question is already giving you the correct answer. It is telling you that it is using POP3. All you need is to know the port and protocol used with POP3. UDP 53, TCP 143, TCP 443, TCP 110 or TCP 25. And for POP3 we are using TCP 110, as POP3 or Post Office Protocol version 3 uses TCP port 110 for retrieving emails from mail server. This protocol downloads the email from the server to the client and typically removes it from the server afterward. In this scenario, if the user can send but not receive emails, the issue is likely related to the POP3 port being blocked or misconfigured. Ensuring that port 110 is open on the firewall will allow incoming email traffic to reach the client. And TCP25 is used for sending emails via SMTP, not for receiving them. UDP53 is used for DNS resolution and TCP400 143 is used for HTTPS, which is for secure web traffic, not for email retrieval. And TCP 143 is for IMAP, Internet Message Access Protocol. An alternative to POP3 that allows synchronization with the server. And next question, which is question 14. A company is implementing a secure website for its customers. Which port should be open to allow HTTPS traffic, UDP 161, TCP 25, or TCP 443, or port TCP 22, or TCP 80. And here the correct answer is TCP 443. As HTTPS or Hypertext Transfer Protocol security uses TCP port 443 to provide encrypted communication between a user's browser and the web server. This encryption ensures that sensitive information like login, credentials and credit card details cannot be intercepted by malicious actors. Opening port 443 is essential for secure web traffic, especially for e-commerce sites or any platform requiring user authentication. And TCP80 is used for HTTP which handles unencrypted web traffic. UDP 161 is used by SNMP, a protocol for managing network devices, and TCP 22 is used by SSH or Secure Shell for secure remote administration, and TCP 25 is used by SMTP for sending emails, not web traffic. Question 15. Email messages from a mail server are being rejected as a spam by recipients. Which port should be open for outgoing SMTP traffic? UDP 53, TCP 110, TCP 143, TCP 25 or TCP 21? And correct answer here is TCP 25. As SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol uses TCP port 25 to send emails between mail servers. If emails from your mail server are being rejected, it is critical to ensure that port 25 is open to allow outgoing SMTP traffic to reach its destination. Spam filters often rely on this port for verification, so if the port is closed or blocked, outgoing email may not be delivered or may be flagged as suspicious. And TCP 143 is used for IMAP, an email retrieval protocol. TCP 110 is used for POP3, another email retrieval protocol. 
TCP21 is used by FTP, which is for file transfers, not email communication, and UDP53 is used for DNS, which handles domain name resolution. A network technician needs to ensure DNS traffic can flow between client computers and DNS servers, which port should be allowed. TCP80, TCP25, UDP53, TCP23, or UDP 161. Correct answer here is UDP 53. As DNS domain name system uses UDP port 53 to resolve domain names, like for example, example.com, it could be any domain name, into IP addresses. This service is crucial for network communication as it allows users to access websites by entering domain name instead of numerical IP addresses. Ensuring that UDP53 is open allows DNS queries to be sent and received, facilitating web browsing and other domain-based services. Where TCP23 is used by Telnet for remote access, which is insecure and unrelated to DNS, and TCP8 is used for HTTP, which handles web traffic, and UDP 161 is used for SNMP, a protocol for network management, not domain resolution, and TCP 25 is used for SMTP, not DNS traffic. Question 17. A technician needs to transfer files securely between two systems over a network. Which protocol and port should they use? TCP 25. TCP22, TCP21, TCP80 or UDP69? And the correct answer here is TCP22. TCP port 22 is used by Secure Shell, which enables secure file transfers through SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol, or SCP, Secure Copy Protocol. These protocols encrypt both the data and commands during transfer, making them ideal for scenarios where sensitive data is involved. SFTP and SCP are commonly used to securely copy files between servers or between a server and a client. TCP21 is used by FTP, which is not secure since it transfers data in plain text, and TCP80 is used for HTTP, which is for web browsing, not file transfers, and UDP69 is used for TFTP, Tribal File Transfer Protocol, but it is not secure and is used in simple file transfer scenarios. And TCP25 is used by SMTP, which is for sending emails, not file transfers. A network administrator needs to synchronize time on all network devices. Which port does the NTP service use? UDP67, UDP123, TCP110, TCP 53 or TCP 21? And the correct answer here is UDP 123. As NTP Network Time Protocol uses UDP port 123 to synchronize the time across network devices. Accurate timekeeping is critical for a variety of network services including log management, security protocols and system scheduling. By using NTP, devices can be synced to the same time source, preventing issues caused by time discrepancies such as a failed authentication or corrupted logs. TCP 110 is used for POP3 email retrieval. UDP 67 is used by DHCP4 server to client communication. And TCP 21 is for FTP file transfers. And TCP 53 is used for DNS, not time synchronization. A company wants to monitor and manage network devices such as switches and routers. Which protocol and port should they configure? TCP 23. UDP 161, TCP 80, TCP 443, or TCP 21? And correct answer here is UDP 161. 
as SNMP or Simple Network Management Protocol uses UDP port 161 and is designed for monitoring and managing network devices such as routers, switches and servers. SNMP collects and organizes information about network devices and can also be used to configure and manage these devices remotely. This is especially important in large networks where manual device management would be inefficient. TCP-80 is for HTTP web traffic and is unrelated to network management. TCP-443 is for HTTPS and used for secure web traffic. And TCP-23 is for Telnet, which allows remote access but is insecure. TCP-21 is used by FTP for file transfers. A system administrator needs to remotely administer several Linux servers securely. Which protocol should be enabled on firewall? TCP-21, TCP-22, UDP-69, TCP-80 or TCP-23? The correct answer here is TCP-22. As SSH Secure Shell uses TCP port 22. As SSH Secure Shell uses TCP port 22 and is the most widely used protocol for secure remote administration of Linux and other Unix based servers. SSH encrypts the entire session including user credentials and commands, ensuring that the sensitive data is not exposed over the network. It is highly secure and prevents eavesdropping which which makes it essential for remote system management. Telnet TCP23 is an older protocol for remote access that is insecure because it transmits data in plain text. And UDP69 is used by TFTP, which is not used for remote server management. And TCP80 is used for HTTP web traffic. And TCP21 is used for FTP file transfers, not server administration. Question number 21. A network technician needs to set up a web server to allow regular HTTP traffic. Which port should be opened? TCP22. UDP 69, UDP 123, TCP 80 or TCP 443. The correct answer here is TCP 80. As TCP port 80 is used for regular non-secure HTTP traffic. It allows users to browse websites over the internet. And TCP 443 is used for HTTPS which is a secure web traffic. And UDP 69 is used for TFTP Tribal File Transfer Protocol. And TCP 22 is used for SSH not for web traffic. And UDP 123 is for NTP Network Time Protocol. Next one, technician needs to set up secure communication for email using IMAP. Which port should be used? So, for IMAP, which port should be used? TCP 110, TCP 25, UDP 161, TCP 80 or TCP 993. And with IMAP we use TCP 993. As TCP-993 is used for secure IMAP, IMAP-S, which encrypts email communication using SSL, TLS. And TCP-25 is for sending emails using SMTP. And TCP-110 is for POP3, not for IMAP. And UDP-161 is used for SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. And TCP-80 is for HTTP traffic. Question number 23. A system administrator is troubleshooting an FTP connection. Which port should be verified? for basic encrypted FTP traffic. A UDP 123, UDP 161, TCP 443, TCP 22 or TCP 21. And the correct answer here is TCP 21. As TCP 21 port is used for basic unencrypted FTP file transfer protocol, which is used for transferring files between devices. And TCP 22 is used for SSH, not for FTP. And UDP 161 is used for SNMP. And TCP 443 is used for secure web traffic HTTPS. And UDP 123 is for NTP. 
Next question, a network engineer needs to enable encrypted remote access to a Linux server. Which protocol should be enabled? Telnet, RDP, DNS, SSH or FTP? And here the correct answer is SSH. As SSH Secure Shell uses TCP port 22 to securely administer servers remotely, providing encryption for all traffic. And Telnet TCP 23 is insecure and transmits data in plain text. FTP TCP 21 is for file transfers, not remote access. And RDP Remote Desktop Protocol TCP 3389 is used for remote desktop access, typically on Windows. And DNS UDP 53 resolves domain names to IP addresses. Question 25. Which port should be allowed for secure outgoing email traffic using SMTP over SSL TLS? UDP 53, TCP 25, TCP 143, TCP 465 or TCP 110. And correct answer here is TCP 465. As TCP 465 is used for secure SMTP, SMTPS with the SSL TLS encryption. And TCP 25 is used for sending email over SMTP without encryption. And TCP 143 is for IMAP used to retrieve email, not to send it. And TCP 110 is for POP3 also for retrieving email. And UDP 53 is for D DNS. A technician is configuring a firewall to allow outgoing DNS queries from a client computer. Which port should be opened? UDP 53, TCP 25, TCP 80, TCP 443, UDP 69. And the correct answer here is UDP 53. As port UDP 53 is used by DNS domain name system for resolving domain names to IP addresses. This allows devices to find websites and servers by name. TCP 80 is used for HTTP, not DNS. And TCP 25 is for SMTP email traffic. And UDP 69 is for TFTP. And TCP 443 is for HTTPS. Which port should be allowed on a firewall to ensure that RDP connections to a Windows server are possible? TCP 80, UDP 161, TCP 21, TCP 3389 or TCP 22? And here correct answer is TCP 3389 as TCP 3389 is used by RDP Remote Desktop Protocol for remote access to Windows desktops and servers. TCP 22 is used for SSH which is manually used for Linux servers. TCP 80 is for HTTP, UDP 161 is for SNMP and TCP 21 is for FTP or file transfer protocol. Which port is used for encrypting IMAP email retrieval? TCP 143, TCP 25, TCP 993, UDP 53 or TCP 110? And the correct answer here is 9, TCP 993. As TCP 993 is used for IMAP with SSL TLS encryption commonly known as IMAPs. And TCP 143 is used for regular IMAP without encryption. And TCP 110 is for POP3. Another protocol for retrieving email and UDP 53 is for DNS and TCP 25 is for SMTP which is used for sending email. And question number 29. A user reports that their FTP connection is failing. Which port is likely being blocked? TCP 22, UDP 69, TCP 443, TCP 21, or TCP 23? And the correct answer here is TCP 21, as this is related to FTP. 
STCP21 is the standard port for FTP file transfer protocol used to upload and download files between systems. TCP22 is for SSH, not FTP, and TCP23 for Telnet, and UDP69 is for TFTP, and TCP443 is for HTTPS. Question number 30. An administrator is troubleshooting issues with DNS server. Which port should be checked to ensure DNS queries are not blocked? TCP443, UDP123, TCP25, UDP53 or TCP80? Here the correct answer is UDP53. As UDP53 is used for DNS domain name system, Queries allowing clients to resolve domain names into IP addresses. And TCP80 is for HTTP traffic, TCP443 is for HTTPS secure web traffic, and UDP123 is used by NTP for time synchronization, and TCP25 is for SMTP. Question number 31. An email server is having issues sending email. Which port should be checked for outgoing SMTP traffic? TCP25, UDP53, TCP143, TCP21 or TCP110? The correct answer here is TCP25. As TCP25 is used by SMTP Simple Mail Transfer Protocol for sending email between servers, and TCP110 is for POP3, which is used to retrieve email, and TCP143 is for IMAP, another email retrieval protocol, and TCP21 is for FTP, or file transfer protocol, and UDP53 is for DNS or domain name system. Technician is configuring secure email traffic using POP3 with SSL TLS, which port should be used? TCP25, port TCP143, TCP110, TCP995 or UDP53? The correct answer here is TCP995. As TCP995 is used for secure POP3, POP3S or POP3S S stands for secure with SSL TLS encryption. TCP-110 is for regular unencrypted POP3 and TCP-143 is for IMAP, not POP3 and TCP-25 is for SMTP which is for sending email, not for receiving emails and UDP-53 is for DNS. Which port does Telnet use for remote and non-secure communication? TCP-25, TCP-23, TCP-22, TCP-443 or UDP-69? The correct answer here is TCP-23. As TCP-23 is used for Telnet which allows non-encrypted remote communication making it insecure for most environments. TCP-22 is used for SSH which is secure communication and TCP-443 is for HTTPS and UDP-69 is for TFTP, and TCP-25 is for SMTP. And question number 34. Which port is used by SNMP for monitoring and managing network devices? UDP-161, TCP-443, UDP-69, TCP-80, or TCP-21? The correct answer here is UDP-161, as UDP-161 is used by SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, for monitoring and managing network devices such as routers and switches. TCP-21 is for FTP, TCP-80 is for HTTP, TCP-443 is for HTTPS, and UDP-69 is for TFT. Question number 35. A technician is setting up a secure FTP connection. Which port should be used for SFTP? TCP443, UDP69, UDP161, TCP22 or TCP21? 
The correct answer here is TCP22. As TCP22 is used by SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol, which is based on SSH and provides secure file transfer. TCP21 is for basic FTP, which is not secure. UDP 161 is for SNMP and TCP 443 is for HTTPS and UDP 69 is for TFTP. Which port is commonly used for email retrieval via IMAP without encryption? TCP 25, UDP 123, TCP 143, TCP 21 or TCP 110? The correct answer here is TCP 143. As TCP-143 is used for IMAP Internet Message Access Protocol, which allows email retrieval without encryption, and TCP-110 is for POP3, not IMAP, TCP-25 is for SMTP, TCP-21 is for FTP, and UDP-123 is for NTP, Network Time Protocol. And question number 37. Which port is used for secure web traffic via HTTPS? TCP80, TCP443, TCP23, UDP123 or UDP161? The correct answer here is TCP443. As TCP-443 is used for HTTPS Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, which encrypts web traffic using SSL, TLS, and TCP-80 is used for non-secure HTTP traffic. TCP-23 is for Telnet, UDP-161 is for SNMP, and UDP-123 is for NTP. A network administrator needs to configure a router for remote management over secure channel. Which port should be enabled? UDP 161, TCP 443, TCP 23, TCP 22 or TCP 80? The correct answer here is TCP 22. As TCP-22 is used by SSH, which provides a secure channel for remote management, and TCP-23 is for Telnet, which is not secure, and TCP-443 is for HTTPS, not for router management, and UDP-161 is for SNMP, and TCP-80 is for HTTP. Which port does NTP use to synchronize time across network devices? TCP-25 or port TCP-443, TCP-21, UDP-161, or UDP-123? The correct answer here is UDP-123. UDP-123 is used by NTP, Network Time Protocol, to synchronize time across network devices. As TCP-443 is for HTTPS, TCP-21 is for FTP, UDP-161 is for SNMP, and TCP-25 is for SMTP. And question number 40. A technician needs to configure firewall to allow TFTP traffic. Which port should be open? UDP-69, TCP-80, TCP-21, TCP-25, or UDP-53? The correct answer here is UDP-69. UDP-69 is used by TFTP, Tribal File Transfer Protocol, simplified version of FTP that uses UDP for file transfers, and TCP-21 is for standard FTP, UDP-53 is for DNS, TCP-25 is for SMTP, and TCP-80 is for HTTP. A web developer needs to enable secure communication for an internal website. Which port should be open for HTTPS traffic? TCP-21, TCP-80, TCP-443, TCP-22 or UDP-53? And here the correct answer is TCP-443, as it says HTTPS. 
TCP443 is used for HTTPS hypertext transfer protocol secure which encrypts web traffic to secure the connection between the client and the server. TCP80 is for regular non-secure web traffic HTTP. TCP22 is for SSH, secure remote access, not traffic. UDP53 is used for DNS queries and TCP21 is used for FTP file transfers. The next question is technician is setting up a VoIP or voice over IP phone system for a company. Which port must be open to allow SIP session initiation protocol traffic? TCP443, TCP110, UDP5060, TCP25 or UDP123. The correct answer here is UDP5060. As UDP5060 is used for SIP or Session Initiation Protocol, which is commonly used in VoIP or Voice over IP systems for initiating, maintaining and terminating voice calls. TCP25 is used for SMTP, which is for sending email. UDP123 is for NTP, Time Synchronization, TCP443 is for HTTPS and TCP110 is for POP3 email retrieval. And question number 43. A network administrator needs to configure a firewall to allow incoming DNS requests. Which port should be opened? UDP69, TCP80, UDP53, TCP25 or TCP22? The correct answer here is UDP53. As UDP53 is used for DNS domain name system which resolves domain names into IP addresses. This is required for internet browsing. TCP25 is for SMTP, sending email. TCP80 is for regular HTTP traffic. UDP69 is for TFTP, file transfers. TCP22 is for SSH secure remote access. The system administrator needs to allow secure file transfers to a Linux server. Which port and protocol should be enabled? TCP3389, TCP23, TCP443, TCP21 or TCP22. The correct answer here is TCP22. As TCP22 is used for SFTP secure file transfer protocol which is based on SSH and provides encrypted file transfers. And TCP21 is for FTP or file transfer protocol for file transfers which is unencrypted. And TCP23 is used by Telnet which is not secure and transmits data in plain text. And TCP3389 is used for RDP remote desktop protocol. And TCP443 is for HTTPS used for secure web traffic. Question number 45. A remote worker needs to connect to a company's internal network securely. Which protocol and port should be used for VPN or Virtual Private Network Access? UDP1194, UDP53, TCP23, TCP80 or TCP21? And correct answer here is 1190. For open VPN. Open VPN. As UDP1194 is the default port for open VPN, a widely used protocol for establishing secure VPN virtual private network connections. TCP21 is for FTP file transfer protocol, TCP23 is for Telnet which is insecure file transfer protocol, UDP53 is for DNS and TCP80 is for HTTP web traffic. And question 46. A network administrator is troubleshooting a TFTP server. Which port should be verified for file transfers? TCP21, UDP69, TCP443, UDP161 or TCP3389? And the correct answer here is the UDP69. 
as UDP-69 is used by TFTP Travel File Transfer Protocol, a simple protocol for transferring files often used for network booting or transferring configuration files, and TCP-21 is for FTP or File Transfer Protocol, a more robust file transfer protocol, UDP-161 is for SNMP, used for network monitoring, TCP-443 is for HTTPS and TCP-3389 is for RDP or Remote Desktop Protocol. An email server is failing to send messages to external domains, which port should be checked for outgoing SMTP traffic. TCP-21, TCP-110, UDP-123, TCP-25, or TCP-143? And correct answer here is TCP-25, as this is for sending email. TCP-25 is the standard port for SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, which is used for sending email from a mail server to external domains. TCP-110 is for POP3, which retrieves emails. TCP-143 is for IMAP, another email retrieval protocol. TCP-21 is for FTP or file transfers. UDP-123 is for NTP, time synchronization. And next question, a technician needs to enable secure email retrieval using POP3 with SSL TLS encryption. Which port should be opened? UDP-53. TCP-143, TCP-995, TCP-110 or port TCP-25? The correct answer here is TCP-995. As TCP-995 is used for POP3, S or SECURE, where S stands for SECURE, which provides encrypted email retrieval using SSL TLS and TCP-110 is for unencrypted POP3 emails, and TCP-25 is for SMTP, used for sending email, and TCP-143 is for IMAP, another email retrieval protocol, and UDP-53 is for DNS. And question 49, a user needs to access their company's webmail securely from a browser. Which port should be allowed? TCP-443, TCP-110, UDP-123, TCP-80 or TCP-25? A correct answer here is TCP-443. As TCP-443 is used for HTTPS, which secures web traffic using SSL TLS, making it ideal for accessing webmail securely. And TCP port 80 is for regular, non-secure web traffic, HTTP. And TCP-25 is used for SMTP, which is for sending email, not accessing webmail. And UDP-123 is for NTP, used for time synchronization, and TCP-110 is for POP3 email retrieval. And next question, the technician is setting up an SNMP trap to monitor network devices. Which port should be verified for SNMP traps to work? TCP21, TCP80, UDP162, UDP161 or TCP22? The correct answer here is UDP-162, as UDP-162 is used for SNMP traps, which are alerts sent from network devices to management stations, and UDP-161 is used for SNMP queries and responses, but not for traps, and TCP-80 is for HTTP, and TCP-22 is for SSH and Secure Remote Access Protocol, TCP-21 is for FTP. So yes guys, this is it for this test, for this quiz, and if you found this useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and if you are interested in more quizzes on more different subjects, find the link in the description and in first pinned comment of this video. And see you in the next one.